Muhammed. Muhammed. Selamun Aleyküm. Ana. Yok lan. İnsan insan yani. İyisi iyi. Çok e, teneştik mamamdan aldım. Çok rahat. Saudi and Qatari all together in one place.
Assalamu alaikum everybody, I hope you guys are good It's been a very very long time since I talked to a camera I feel awkward too I've been sick for the past day I got really really sick I have like a throat problem and it hurt so much my throat Even though I still was fasting today So it's good I just came from Taraweeh prayer And the dates right here. It's Ajwa dates. What the prophet liked. This is the hotel card. My charger for a microphone. This is what I bought from the tower. Shopping tower. Looks like a really nice book too. And this book is all about hadith, so it's all good alhamdulillah. I'm gonna be like a sheikh and learn about those hadiths inshallah bookmark where you wanna put the page or anything I'm gonna play a game in a few days I'm not sure exactly when this is gonna be probably in one of my main channel vlogs where it's like a giveaway but you guys gotta do something for me so I got a lot of gifts from Mecca and I don't wanna show you guys and I'm gonna hide the brands too. I'm gonna tell you that the gifts could be keychains or perfumes or something religious. So I wanna give you a hint of what kind of gifts I'm gonna give you guys for the winner. And there could be maybe three winners, so because I have a lot of gifts, alhamdulillah. But the gifts are gonna be religious stuff. So maybe tasbih, maybe a perfume, maybe Hajar Aswad perfume, something that's really nice, something from me, from Mecca, so it's special for me. So these are just some of what I got, I've already got a lot before, so I hope it's all good. For the past few days, a lot of weird things have has been happening right here. First of all, I want to say that I made dua for everybody that I'm following on Twitter and any and everyone who's following me on Twitter and whoever you know hates me or loves me also made dua for them so even if you're not on Twitter you also got dua even if you're whoever you are you got dua inshallah from me which is good dua inshallah I don't do any bad dua for anybody so that's something good whenever I wear something like this like a shirt and some pants and Eshimach, like Emirati style, people get so confused, they don't know where I come from. Which is sometimes good because you don't feel like talking. 
especially when I'm sick but I'm doing this video because I haven't talked for a long time for you guys but today I don't talk with anybody even the guy near me he was talking Arabic with his son and when he was looking at me he said salam alaikum and I said salam and then he started praying near me and then he started talking with me with sign language so he started saying here or there with movements of hands hand signs but a lot of weird things happened the day when I went to the graveyard I was hearing weird sounds near the grave of Khadija it was weird but I wasn't that scared because it's a blessed place even though there's kuffars around her grave that were buried also I guess it's still something good when I was leaving the graveyard first of all First of all, I was one of the last people in the graveyard, so I was waiting for a bus to take me back to the place where I came because it's two sets, two sets of graveyards. So I was waiting in the second one where the bus took me to, and then I was with Turks and I said salam alaikum and alaikum salam. They went to look around the graves, and it's huge, huge, huge, huge. So I didn't go there because I already saw graves in the beginning. I went to the Khadija area. Then when I finished, I went back and I sat near the guys who are the grave diggers. And we started talking. They were from Bangladesh. And it was kind of creepy because they had a normal, but I had it weird because, you know, I'm not used to graveyards totally like living and having full comfort. So the guys there, they were eating right near me and drinking and they, s they gave me a water bottle but I said no thank you I already have one so I drank for mine anyways by the way I haven't been eating for about a week like normal food every time I break my fast okay with the dates and I drink water you guys could see like my skin isn't healthy anymore so that's what I do and then I don't eat until 1 a.m. in the morning so it's so weird because I don't feel with hunger I don't even have time to eat because here if we break our fast pray maghrib pray death prayer because every prayer we pray is almost ever after it there's a death prayer that's how many people die here six million people right here in this place so we pray the death prayer and then taraweeh starts Aisha prayer then taraweeh then another death prayer and then taraweeh so we finish at 11 p.m. At 1 starts Qiyam al-Layl, which is the night prayer of Taraweeh. Some people stay, some people go. I just do it. Some days, not every day, because I can't. I'm really tired and sick. And I lost a lot of weight. You guys could see, like, you maybe my cheeks just have, you know, my cheeks are always like this. But, man, I'm skinny. Alhamdulillah, I guess it's something good because in UAE I ate a lot and became full. They fed me well. That's how I'm still living. So when I was leaving the graveyard, there was this last grave digger and he was alone putting water in the refrigerators. And then he stops me and says, Hey, how are you? You're Turkish? And I told him, Yes, I'm half Turkish. And then he's like, I'm Bangladesh also. And then we started talking and the guy was creepy really creepy it's like movie scenes right in front of me the guy he had a problem with his eyes I guess not looking really good and his nails were like really long so it's like <laughs> I was imagining like he digs with them and then I'm not sure if this is what exactly what he said but I heard those words I heard, Inshallah, we die, or you die. And I was like, confused, like, who makes dua of us dying? And then, I was like, in moods, like, that we die? And he's like, yes. And then I'm like, okay. So, Inshallah, we die. <laughs> That's what I said, even though it's wrong, but I don't know, like, Inshallah, we die. But we go to heaven, that's the most important thing, I guess. And then I directly left the graveyard and I was scared. <laughs> but not that scared, I'm not, not 
not that fully scared when I'm vlogging. I don't know why. I feel like people are watching me or with me, but I'm alone and I could get into danger, but I'm not that scared. I don't know why. So that's the end of the graveyard day, which was before yesterday. Yesterday, me and my dad were sitting in the mall's coffee shop area and we were eating also KFC. So, we finished our meal and there were three Pakistanis that spoke English right near us. Some guy joined them who was Egyptian and he was like an old man. And he, he didn't join them, join them, but he sat near them and said he was thirsty, I think, or something. Because that's what the Pakistani guy said. So, the other two Pakistanis, they left somewhere. And one of the Pakistanis, he went to get water for the guy. And he left his... And he left his phone on the table. I was sitting right near that table. The, the Egyptian guy, he was so close to us. And then he came closer to us and sat like opposite. Like his, like his back is facing us. And he said, Salaam Alaikum, like turned and said, Salaam Alaikum. My dad said, Alaikum, Salaam. After that, this guy kept looking around and we didn't know what the story was. We thought he wanted to start a conversation, even though we didn't want to talk. Because we weren't able to talk at that time. Not in the mood. Sorry for the sounds, you know. Neighbors. Who told neighbors? So then the guy left. When he left, me and my dad felt comfortable. We started talking again. And then this Pakistani guy came running with sweat on his face and everything he's like have you seen my phone have you seen my phone I'm like no what what kind of phone what happened and he's like i left it here and there was a guy sitting right here and and i went to buy him water and came back for him so i felt so bad we couldn't find him there were security cameras right in front of us but they said after five days they won't check it after five days that's how security is here so if you come here make sure you're you're super safe for yourself if you lose your child it's your problem too so if you have a child write his number on his hand or arm and make sure you write it somewhere else also and make sure you if you have an iphone to put find my iphone application on and things like that because you could get stolen easily even though it's the most blessed place on earth for a Muslim. So anyways, me and my dad, we went to inside. We wanted to go around and make the loft. So I had this huge carpet with me. And it doesn't bend like it's as this tall. I think you've seen it in the vlog yesterday. So I was carrying it and going in. The cop stops me. Someone... A little bigger than the cop like his position is higher than the cops position because he is responsible of who goes in and who goes out of the doors this guy tells me you're not allowed to enter and pray I'm sorry you're not allowed but come on man I'm just gonna go put this carpet and pray he's like this carpet's not allowed I'm like so you're not letting me inside to pray for God and he's like, yes. I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yes. And then I'm like, and I just had to say this. I didn't want to say it, but I had to. I'm like, I originate from the Prophet's family, Salaam And you're not letting me inside. You let everyone else, but not me because of this carpet that I'm not even going to use. That I told you that I'm not going to use. The guy went silent. He didn't know what to say. And then he's like, Okay, if I let you in, you gotta you can use the carpet. Like what? No, I'm not gonna use the carpet. It's like no no, if you go in with the carpet then use it. I'm like okay, but I'm not gonna use it. He's like okay. And then he's like you could go in. I'm like okay, next time I'm not gonna get the carpet, so next time you don't need to do this. Trust me, I'm not gonna use the carpet. And he's like, No no you could use the carpet. I'm like no, I'm not gonna use it. You said I told you I'm not gonna use it, I'm not gonna use it. It's like, okay. And then I went in. But without him, but without me telling him that, he wouldn't let me in. 
I don't know why it's so strict when I'm an honest guy, but there's a lot of people that lie, so I become a liar suddenly. Anyways, now it's time for my sahur, and I'm gonna go eat sahur, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I ate finally. For a very long time, I haven't ate something good, really good. You know, what I love about hotels is this floor, so smooth. And the smell of it, it smells like smoke, but really good smell of smoke. So it's all good. You could see the. You could see myself, but that's the outside, and the camera's looking at me. Say hi. You know what's weird about this hotel? They gave me this room, which is 7 Eleven, which is a store, which is a store in America. This book is dope. If you guys come to Mecca, I'm not gonna give you a copy as a gift, but if you guys come to Mecca, well, maybe I would in the future when I become rich. If you guys come to Mecca, you guys should take this book. It's dope. It's about a hadith, which are teachings from the Prophet and it helped me a lot, learn a lot of new things that I didn't know about. A lot of you might ask why I'm wearing this. Well, it's too hot outside. It's almost better time. Tomorrow's Friday, so today it's sort of to get, or tomorrow. Alhamdulillah, today was a good day. Today is Jum'ah. So many people here. Now we're going to the hotel. This is where I usually pray Jum'ah. Pray. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys later. And make sure there is a giveaway soon. And if you're interested, make sure you comment below so I could see that people are interested for a giveaway. I'm not going to just do one for no one. So, peace in the middle of Mecca. Yeah.